Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about indigo dyeing and we're going to explore wet dipping versus dry dipping. There are two methods for dipping with an indigo vat and we're going to explore them. First, I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling and if that sounds like something you're into, be sure to hit the subscribe button. For this experiment, I'm going to be using this indigo tie-dye kit. It's by Jacquard, and it's a really good solid kit for beginners. It's a hydro vat. It comes with everything you need to get started, and you can do up to 15 shirts with this kit. So I have put the link for this kit down in the description below. I'm gonna be using my wool ironing mat. This does not come with the kit, obviously, and this is actually for quilting, but it's great for doing shibori and folds. And then, of course, you're gonna need an iron to do this kind of experiment. So to start this experiment, I'm going to fold up two pieces of cotton fabric in the exact same fold. I'm making sure to use a pre-washed cotton fabric, and I'm going to do a right triangle fold if you're interested in learning more about indigo dyeing and different folds you can do, be sure to check out my channel. I have an indigo playlist with a lot of different tutorials. So I will link that down in the description below and put it at the end of this video so you can check it out. So I'm going to do two of these exactly the same so that I can compare the two exactly. Once I get them folded up, I'm going to mix up my vat. This is a hydro vat, and you can do different types of vats with indigo. If you're interested in learning about the thiox vats, be sure to check out my Skillshare class. You can watch it for free if you're already a member of Skillshare, and you can try Skillshare for 30 days free with the link down in the description below. There are tons of really great classes offered by many different teachers on Skillshare. All right, so I just taught a workshop and I have a fresh vat going. I'm going to dip my one piece in the water and then I'm going to do one as a dry dip. So I'm going to do one wet dip and one dry dip. So first I'm going to take the first piece and put it into the water to get saturated. I want it to get completely saturated. And then I'm gonna take my piece that I'm gonna do with the dry dipping and just submerge it completely in the indigo vat. I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds and take it out to check it. And then I'm going to dip it one more time. After it's been submerged for about 30 seconds, I'm gonna take it out and wring it out and check to see how the resist looks. I just wanna make sure it's not completely blue. Sometimes that does happen. And now I'm gonna put in my wet dip for its first dunk. I've sped this process up for the sake of time on the video, but um, I just take my time and dip each piece and then check it. You can always re-dip something. The more dips you do, the darker the blue is going to be. I just like to check to make sure that there is enough white on the piece. I don't want it to be completely blue. I've had that happen to me before, so you can always dip things again, but you can't undip them. That's what I always say. So I'm just going back and forth and dipping each piece over and over again to make sure I get a nice dark blue color. You know a lot of people like to dip their indigo for a really long time, but for me, I like to just kind of do shorter dips um, and do more of them to just make sure that the white is still there. So now they've been completely dipped, I'm gonna let them oxidize and then I'm gonna open them. Okay, so now let's open up our pieces. Okay, that's the dry dip right there. And here is the wet dip. So they're similar but different. Let's see here. This is the other side. 
course I have to wash them now and um, I'm gonna rinse them and wash them with hot and um, then dry them on hot. Okay, here they are. They're all washed and dried. This one here is the wet dip and you can see there is like a woven stripe in this fabric which kind of makes the dye kind of draw up into the stripes, which is kind of cool. And this one is the dry dip, which has a lot more resist and crisper lines. So they're different techniques and neither one is right or wrong. Let me know down in the comments what you guys prefer, which one you think is better or which one you would want to recreate. I tend to do more dry dipping in my indigo dyeing because I think it gives crisper lines. And if you want darker blues, you can just dip it more times. All right, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tag me on social media at Onyx Art Studios if you do any of the projects on my channel. I'd love to see what you guys are up to and check out my online workshops on my website at onyxartstudios.com. If you like this video, check out these other videos. I think that you would like them too. Like I said before, I have a lot of Indigo videos on my channel as well as other dying kinds of videos. So be sure to go and check it out. All right, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.